Nifty Option Group Setup. This is the sort of thing you can do with this Nifty Option Group. You can have your own option group with some nice looking symbols really. Now I'm going to close this and open a simpler form. It's less busy to demonstrate how to set it up. First off, I'll just go through what it consists of. You've got this blue line round here, which is a frame. In uh, Microsoft Access, it's called a rectangle. These are just text boxes. That's a label. And these here, one, two, three, four to eight, they're labels. And that's all you've got. Now, if I open it in Design View, I'll just demonstrate. That's a text box, text box, text box. And this is a rectangle. Straight away, you can see when I click on the rectangle, here we have in the rectangles tag property some information. What we're saying is we want to link these text boxes, which form this custom simulated option group. We want them associated, this whole group, with tick cross, which is a field in the table. That's the main bit for the coding of the option group to work. Then we want to use wing dings number two as the characters. If you see that square box and the diamond, they come from the wing ding two set of characters. And we want P and O. That gives you the tick and the cross. Now the other piece of code, this tells your code where to send the focus after you've made your selection in the simulated option group. Now if we look in more detail at the text box properties, again we're utilising the tag property and in that first text box we've got the tag set to 1, the second 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, right up to 8. So that's telling the code what information you want to gather when that text box is clicked. The only other thing of note is this next control. If we look at the properties, it's called text23. And if we go back to the frame properties, the rectangle, I pointed out here, that's telling it to send the set focus into that text box. This form is based on a table, table ward, and there's a select statement in here. However, the code works equally well with a select statement as it does with the actual, just the name of the table or a query. If I move that over there, I've got query one there. Query one produces the same results as the table. That's the table and the query, they're the same. You could use a query and restrict the information returned from the table, or you could use the whole table or you could use the query in its text form directly in the record source. In the next video, I will explain the relationship between the table and the simulated option group on the form. This has been Uncle Gizmo, nay Tony Hine, bringing you a new nifty product. Thank you.